Okay, I'm Steve Morgan from Fishing Monthly Magazine and I'm here with Jim Hickson from Manning River Marine who's taken delivery of the first 4.35 Bluefin Wildcat Limited Edition. And Jim, you set up a lot of these Wildcats for people. What are some of the things that people often put on as optional extras? Steve, as you can have a look now, the boats are limited edition. The limited editions are what we as dealers, or what I've found as dealers, set the boats up as. Rod lockers, essential for um, this day and age of fishing. Um, you can't have a boat without a rod locker around. With the number of rods that are carried, it's essential. Good old Minn Kota. You can't go fishing without electric on the front. That's right, and you see boats all nowadays, all of them have got Minn Kota's on the yep. front. And we've given this one a big boost. It's got a 798 Hummingbird in it. Probably yeah, doesn't quite need that style, but it's a beautiful sounder. Full in integrated GPS, uh, it's down imaging, it's beautiful. So you're looking forward to selling these blue pins. You've sold a lot of them in the past. Um, I broom lure a lot around Tari and I see a lot of these boats on the water. Uh, are you excited about this new limited edition? Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is this is fun. This is going to be something that um, we've been sort of hoping for for a long time. Limited edition means it's exactly what it is. It's a limited edition and this boat's going to sell quite well. So when Bluefin had the idea for this limited edition boat, how much input did they get from their dealers like yourself? They get a fair bit from us. Um, they seen what we were doing with the boats and they took it all on board and hence now we've got a full limited edition Wildcat. And I would imagine that down the track we'll see other limited editions that we can play with in other different models. And the last thing that I want to ask you is they're going to build these limited editions until the end of September. How many do you think you can get away before the end of September? They're going to, you can't get them after Ooh, that. You know, it's hard to say. It's only a small market for me, but I'm looking outside the area. Uh, I'd like to see 10 come out of my, my shop before the end of September. Wonderful. So that's Jim Hickson from Manning River Marine with his view on the 435 limited edition Wildcat. So now we've tracked down Mark Johnson from Bluefin and Mark is the technical man there who's responsible for making sure all the little bits and pieces on this boat are going according to plan and Mark, you must be excited about this project as well. This is a great accommodation for Bluefin. It's uh, been coming in well towards the year and uh, we're really proud to have now got it together uh, in the best way possible. So let's go through and look bit by bit okay. what you put in this boat. Okay Mark, let's start at the bow of the boat. Tell us about the Minn Kota. Uh, when we decided to set up the limited edition, we, uh, we consulted with all of our, of our suppliers and asked them for the best product that would be suited to this model. Uh, we've chosen the Ice Pilot 55 pound drip type um, as an ideal motor um, that will work perfectly uh, in this application. Now Mark, every boat nowadays has a flash sounder in it. What have you chosen for the limited edition? We've chosen a side imaging Hummingbird 798 sounder, uh, GPS combo. Um, that's all you could want in the sounder. Yeah, GPS, side yeah. image, down image, yeah. and it's all in a compact unit that sits right next to the console. Okay, Mark, like all good tournament boats, this has got a live well in it. Tell us all about it. The 90 litre live well, um, it's divided live well with a flow right tournament uh, plumbing system in it, uh, which includes a timer. So you can control all of that from the helm? You can recirculate, you can pump fresh water in, and all of that is controlled from the helm. Now, Mark, one thing that the readers won't tell by just looking at the boat is the carpet. Tell us about it. The, the carpet is a hookless platinum carpet, um, which just prevents lures and hooks from, from catching on the carpet. And from getting tangled? And from getting tangled. What could you want? So, Mark, when you put these flash seats in this city, I know they're locally made, tell us about them. Uh, they're a, a graphite fabric. Uh, they're fully adjustable seats and they're made to fold down so that you've got clear decks when fishing. Fantastic for a fisherman. Absolutely. Now, launching this boat seemed pretty easy with this drive-on, drive-off trailer. Tell us all about that. Uh, the Zambia trailer that has been matched to the boat is set up for it so that it's for easy launching and retrieving and to ensure that the boat is carried safely at all times. Um, the trailer comes with upgraded wheels, mud guards and um, extends the warranty of the product by an extra year on the trailer and on the boat. So if you buy this boat, it's a dedicated trailer, you get an extra year's warranty. What's the current warranty on the boat? Uh, the current hull, hull warranty is two years um, and is extended to three years because the trailer and boat are perfectly matched and well set up. And an expert's done it from the factory, so you know it's going to be right. In consultation with everyone, yes. Okay, and Mark, if I'm a family man with a regular four-cylinder car, what does this boat weigh and can I tow it? You can. Um, the, the boat, fully loaded with the motor and everything, would weigh approximately a thousand kilograms. 
So any medium sized family car will tow it quite safely. The trailer is braked, um, which complies with all regulations and will, will, yeah, will work well. So, and if I've got kids as well, I notice the gunnels on this boat are a little bit higher than, uh, than a normal uh, tournament style boat, so it's safe for small kids to take out. It is, and these type of boats aren't used exclusively in tournament fishing. Um, they're used in, like we are today, our mysteries where there are children. So yes, there's grab rails for safety and the casting decks are set down slightly for that very reason. Okay Mark, I notice a lot of boats now with this vinyl wrap on the side. Tell us all about this one. The, the custom wrap available on the, on the limited edition Wildcat is available in eight different colours and features all the partnership logos along the side. Talking of some of those partners, I notice there's the Railblazer mounts in this boat. There's limitless options for those. You can mount nearly anything in this boat. We've placed a range of railblazer products so that you can fit any of the, the accessories that you feel you need to. Give us an example of something you might fit out on, on this one down here for instance. A, a phone holder for your iPhone, um, boat hook holder, cup drink holder, uh, rod holders, there's a, there's a full range of, of railblazer products available. Now this boat has a full LED light kit mounted inside? It does. There's a, a lights under the console and under the gunnel. Um, just for that night fishing and just to make it that easy to get around. And for the bling factor. And for the bling factor. Blue lighting is a great feature. Now Mark, I notice this is rated to 75 horsepower this boat. How can you get such a big motor on such a little boat? Uh, the Wildcat Limited Edition has got a 4mm bottom uh, and 3mm side sheets, making it a very solid rig, um, more than capable of handling 75 horsepower. It, it'd have to be the toughest boat in the size class. It would be. It, it would have to be. And one final thing, Mark, I love the steering wheels on the boat. That's the flashiest one I've ever seen in a blue thing. The, uh, the Guzzi Sport steering wheel was selected for that very wow factor. It's a great Italian manufactured wheel just to give that console something special. I wish I was a fly on the wall when you had the meeting to select that steering wheel. You would have had the catalogues out, the steering wheels. It would have been a fantastic experience. It was indeed.